How's it going guys, Chris here. Today we're going back onto Battlefield 1 and I've decided to use quite arguably the worst weapon in the game. It's the one that I probably, well I've used all of the weapons extensively making my weapon guide so I should know out of anyone which guns are good and which guns are bad. This is the one that I had a lot of problems collecting good gameplay with. You know, it took me kind of a while to, especially back when I made that guide, because you couldn't actually equip it onto a normal loadout, you had to be a tanker or a pilot, so this one in particular gave me a lot of trouble to collect good gameplay. I mean, the only thing good that this gun's got going for it is the character pose. I mean, this guy looks like a bit of a badass, the way he holds it, but he's probably going to die over and over again, you know. Kind of feel sorry for him. We'll hop straight into this vehicle that's aiming at the wall for some reason. Give this guy some ammo, even though he's a support character, so he doesn't really need it. Probably the most assistance I'm going to be able to do with this gun, to be fair, is running around giving people ammo. I guess the fact that I'm on this map is kind of good because it's a few more short sight lines. I might be able to take people out. But the reason why I really dislike this weapon, and the reason why I, I'd consider it to be the worst in the game, is because it's just kind of like using a very slow firing pistol that has awful aim down sights. I mean, it looks okay like that, but watch this. Okay, now it kicks up and you can't see anything. Like, there we go, dead. <laughs> it's terrible. You can't you can't stay on target whatsoever with this gun. Mainly because of the way the toggle lock mechanism kicks up. But it covers your entire view of what you're shooting at, so you can fire your first shot quite accurately, but then your shots after that are just going to get skewed. We have lost that wasn't a good place to be at that point in time. Okay, so we're already starting on a bit of a downer. Couple of deaths. See, look, 75 damage. I mean, it tickles people, this gun. Some people might use this and be able to do okay with it, but I just can never have any luck with it. This guy's just camping down this corridor. See, look, even point-blank range, assist. Wow. So yeah, the only time this gun is actually useful in any way, shape or form is if you can manage to flank your enemies, but even then you can take maybe one or two down and you've got to reload and then, like you saw in that situation, there was no way I could have taken those guys on. I could maybe kill one, but okay, I managed to score a nice kill on him, managed to hit his head, score a sneaky headshot, got that guy. He was already injured, I think. So yeah, you can't see shit when you fire this gun. In fact, the C93 pistol is a lot more functional than this gun. Because that, for some reason, it doesn't have the same kind of toggle lock thing that kicks up. I guess you could fire slower to kind of counteract that kicking upwards, but... to get a sneaky kill on him. I think there's someone else around here actually. Is he under the bridge? There he is, he's in the bush. Camping his little heart out. Lots of people over there. Come on, can we get that guy from a distance? No, I think we only dealt 52 damage on him from that distance and I'm sure I put a few bullets on him. being met with a bit of hostile activity. Yeah, there's a lot of people up there in that area. I really wish I had some kind of way to kill them all. Yeah, shotgun's always going to win in that situation. Spawn on this tank. Could be the worst decision I've ever made. Oh no, that was okay actually. Oh, what? Okay, I'm not going to run in like a madman. I'm going to take this objective. Now, there's quite a lot of people over there. Don't want to take them on. Whoa, what? Screaming down my bloody ear. I suppose you could say that some people might like this gun because it's got a silencer on it. But 
Silencers don't really do a hell of a lot in this game, <laughs> which kind of renders it useless. Grenade! Yes! Ho <laughs> I guess in combination with grenades, this gun can probably do things. Yeah. Take that. Hmm. Oh, I can hear footsteps. We are losing objective Charlie. This gun doesn't really stand much of a chance against anything at point blank range. But it also doesn't stand much of a chance against anything at medium range or long range either. Which contributes to the suckiness. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Some guy just managed to shoot through a brick wall. Mm. Doesn't seem like a good idea to walk out of there, to be fair. I'll just hide behind this barrel. They've got a tank. That's not fun. I'm in no position to take him on. I can spot him. Go on, get your limpet charge on him, boy. I'll just get mowed down. Um. Yeah, I'll just lie down here. Go on. I can throw a grenade at him. Not that that's going to do much. <laughs> oh, no, there he is. Hip fire for the win. Need some health. Any medics at all around here? Probably not. There's a guy. Managed to get some hit markers on him. Ooh, big explosion in my face. Ooh, they're all up here. They're all inside here. Got a kill. Some more people in here. He's probably going to reload. Ah. Yeah, too many people camping with shotguns. The camping on this game, it's so real. Yeah, they've completely taken this objective. I don't even want to go down there at all. Just... I'm going to avoid that area like the plague. This would be a really good time to try and flank, actually. Nah. <laughs> I'm not going to go down there. We're losing A now. We're losing everything. Come on, guys. It's a lamppost, not a human being. Uh, you do not know where they are. There you are. Someone beat me to it. What the hell? Could have sworn they nerfed the AT rocket gun at some point. Still seems to be stupidly powerful. Okay, he just got sneaked up on. Lots of people over in this area, this general direction. Pistol, get the pistol out. Nope. Oh, so many people. Our team are getting completely raped right now. Come on, jump out the friggin' window for God's sake. Yeah, take that shotgun face. Enemy hit two. In fact, I'm going to use my... <laughs> I'm probably better off using the M1911 silence, to be fair. This gun's probably got more potential. Get away from that smoky fart gas. Now they're taking C, and I don't know how to get to C without dying. This is going to be some challenge in itself. I can see you there. Eat that. Mr. Medic. Somehow managed to kill him. Uh, oh, there he is. Get some 45 ACP in your face. Uh, I don't want to be the first to go through that door. I'll let you guys do it. Okay, let's get up here. Might give me a bit of an advantage. Is there anyone around here? Okay, I don't know where the hell that grenade just decided to go. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. There we go. Somehow I managed to kill him. I'll just yeet that grenade over there. Didn't do anything. Oh, for God's sake. Nade spam. All over the place. The headshot only dealt 22 damage. I mean, seems to be quite a lot of people are out there. Maybe a limpet charge. There, that might do something. I didn't do anything. 
Okay, they're all just dying around the corner now. Oh, hello. Just hiding in the dark alley. Woot. Trying to out. What the frig? <laughs> He decided to die anyway. So yeah, basically I can still verify that the C93 carbine sucks. If you care to disagree with that statement, feel free. I somehow managed to get a positive KD there, but I don't really know how that happened. It's a pretty interesting gun in itself, but it's just terrible in this game. In my honest opinion. <laughs>